right hi everyone welcome back to another video of salesforce makes sense this is Ivanshu and we are continuing our lightning web components masterclass we have just started with the introduction to javascript and we are going to just do a crash course on javascript so that we enable ourselves to understand and you know get better at lwc because of this so we talked about what javascript is and a basics of, and some basics about it in this short tutorial i'm going to tell you about what are you going to need in terms of you know understanding and learning javascript for the upcoming tutorials so you need an online compiler to start with so you can really use any of the free compilers available online however I am going to use JS Fiddle or program is based on whatever you know deems good or you know maybe a mix and match or maybe a hybrid thing to help you understand JavaScript. Okay, uh, let's go to a browser. All right, and this right here, if I go ahead and look at JS Fiddle or let's not do this, I'll just type in JS Fiddle. All right, and I'll do a Google search. So you see that this JS Fiddle code playground is one of the options that we can consider for online compiling and trying out JavaScript code. Okay, so what you can see is that you can write HTML here and you can write JavaScript and you can write CSS and you'll get your final output here. Okay, so this is an online compiler. Another compiler that's available or that we can use is Programmes. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and say Programmes online compiler. So if you see program is I'll go ahead and choose the JavaScript compiler or I can even type JS or I can type JavaScript on the Google search or I can directly hit the URL. So program is JavaScript. Okay. So this is another compiler online compiler available wherein you can simply type JS code, click on the run button and it will show you the output. Okay. This looks a bit more clean and neat, but if you need like, let's say HTML code also, then you can go ahead with JS fiddle. Okay, so any any one of these two, we can go ahead and use it. All right, what I want to also tell you before we jump into the tutorials for JavaScript is do not just really watch the videos, right? But try to alongside, you know, do it on your own so that you understand it a bit better. You make the mistakes that I, that you might not be make, seeing on the screen and doing that would basically help you get the hang of JavaScript a bit faster and a bit better. Okay, because JavaScript is a tricky language to be honest, but it's only tricky until and unless you don't do it. So if, if you're seeing a tutorial, if you're seeing me doing uh, four lines of code or two lines of code or just one line of code, try to do it parallelly on your browser on a, on a compiler. Okay. Now, most of you might be thinking, Himanshu, what is a compiler, right? So what I want you to do is I want you to think like this. So JavaScript code that we write is more like an order that we give to a restaurant. Okay. I need four chapatis or maybe this gravy or maybe this pizza, maybe this pasta. So that, that exact order is your JavaScript code. Okay. Now, who do you give this particular um, order to? You give it to the waiter, right? The waiter does not really cook your food and give it to you. He's just a person who accepts the order and gives it to the right person. So the compiler can be the waiter. I mean, you can consider that the compiler is more like the waiter who's taking your order. Okay. That's the compiler. And what is the compiler doing? The compiler gives the order to the chef, which is basically the actual language. It processes it, it and it gives you the result in the browser. Okay, so that's what compilers are for. So JavaScript code has to be compiled. Okay, for it to be executed. That's the whole concept. It has to be compiled for it to be executed. When I say compiled, it has to be executed line by line. And then it accordingly understands, okay, this is what you're wanting to ask. So give me this, let, let me give you this result. Okay, let a equal to x plus, we do it in mathematics, right? We do a theorem or, a, or maybe a problem solution. We start from statement one, we reach state, statement n. So those exact lines of code are nothing but a compilation of uh, sequence of statements that help us derive a conclusion. Hence x equal to y, hence proved, right? Or maybe that's why this is a <laughs> obtuse triangle. Similarly, JavaScript code needs to be compiled so that it can be executed and for you to be able to compile it you cannot do it on your own you need help that's why you have online compilers available okay so online compilers will help you or allow you to write javascript code and test it out and once we are good to do that here on these particular two uh, what do you call it two compilers on the online internet which are available for free for our use you can actually use them and we'll use this for pretty much all the crash course learning that we want to do out of uh, javascript for this particular entire masterclass and based on these learnings we'll jump into lightning web components which we can develop in vs code okay great 
that is all i wanted to cover as part of this tutorial i hope you guys are excited just put a comment below if you are excited to understand and learn javascript i will see you in the next one bye